Hello everybody, welcome back to the Matvid Pro AI YouTube channel. I'm gonna be real with you guys, I am one of those people that has severe organizational issues. Yep, that's right, this brain is an absolute mess. But hey, that's why we have organizational tools, right? Dating all the way back to the early days of technology, the, the simple notepad and paper and calendar. Now we have modern digitized versions of these organizational tools, and my favorite one is Notion. I don't know if you guys have ever tried Notion before, but it's pretty great. Notion is like the no compromises, easy to use organizational tool, and they have implemented AI. So that's what we're going to be taking a look at today. We're going to be diving into Notion's AI. We're going to look at what they do really well. We're going to look at what maybe needs some work and what I'd like to see in the future. Because like I said, I mean, I use Notion for everything. For example, this is like my working list of AI news articles and, and different pieces that I've found so far. Here's a curated list of all of the Discord server suggestions thus far. And there's a bunch of other stuff uh, that I can't show you guys because it's top secret Matt Vid Pro AI stuff. And by the way, yes, this video is sponsored by Notion to demonstrate to you guys the AI tools that Notion can bring. And I know typically a sponsored video means, hey, disingenuous, but I'm an open transparent book. I've been using Notion for a long time now. It is, like I said, my go-to organizational tool. So when they came to me for a sponsorship, why not? I do think there is genuine value for you guys here. And I would not sponsor a product if I didn't think that was the case. Notion AI actually has its own section at this point, and they've been slowly upgrading it over time. So the Notion AI tab of your Notion account is going to look a little something like this. It's sort of like ChatGPT, but specifically curated for what you might be doing inside of Notion. And by the way, the model that they're using here is definitely not Notion's own in-house AI model. They use a mixture of models such as Claude 3.5 Sonnet and GPT-4.0. So just like ChatGPT, we could ask it a pretty simple question. You know, what is the average size of an apple? Something random like that. And it will give you that very basic information, right? So it's ChatGPT for sure inside your Notion whenever you need it. But Notion AI took a different approach, I think, in comparison to something like ChatGPT or Claude with targeted suggestions. For example, draft anything you want, brainstorm ideas, quick summary, a quick get help with code, draft an outline, draft an email, meeting agenda, we got tables, flowcharts, and it goes even beyond that because of course you can customize any of this. So I think the first thing that I'm going to do here is brainstorm ideas. I'm going to ask it to come up with some unique ideas for my Discord server, which if you guys remember, I already have a file on inside of my Notion account that it should be able to just pull information from. So I'm going to tell it to specifically pull up my Discord server suggestions and brainstorm some quick actions to improve the Discord server. I'm going to make sure to specifically link that Discord server suggestions in there so it knows where to go to get the information. Sometimes it'll do it automatically. Sometimes I've noticed if you don't link it properly, it struggles. But let's go ahead and see how it does with this. And it does some real brainstorming. So as you can see at the bottom, it says these ideas combine elements from your existing suggestions while adding unique twists to engage your community and showcase your YouTube content. AI powered YouTube content recommender. Create a bot that suggests your YouTube videos based on members' interests in chat history. That's actually a very intriguing idea. Yeah, the brainstorm is definitely bringing some of the creativity power that is inside of LLMs out. It's a good pre-prompted little uh, suggestion they threw in there. AI or human challenge channel. Set up a channel where members post content, text images, or audio, and others guess if it's AI generated or human made. That's another really good, genuinely, I think, creative idea. Multimodal AI project showcase, AI music jam sessions, boost buddy system. These are all pretty decent ideas. Some may be better than others, but... Definitely a worthwhile thing. It's able to essentially do new ideation, new brainstorming based off of a file I already have. And it links directly to each portion where it found the information from. This is exactly the kind of thing I need to make my Discord server better. So it takes Notion from just being somewhere to store all of your information and keep it organized 
to a place that actually acts almost as a second brain, right? Now, drafting an outline is also another one that I use quite frequently. If I'm doing a YouTube video, well, guess what? Chances are it probably needs an outline. Right here, folks, I have an Apple Intelligence app idea list, and this is all coming from ChatGPT initially, but this is a pretty old list I have from when Apple Intelligence was first announced. Let's go here with Notion AI and draft an outline using the info from the Apple Intelligence app ideas list. Draft me an outline for a YouTube video. Here is some info context on my channel. That's always helpful, by the way, guys. Some context info on how things are supposed to go. Even if it's just like basic bio background info will be helpful. Here is a quick bio that Perplexity AI whipped me up. Let's go ahead and send it off. And as you can see, something that the Notion bot also does is create everything as if it's a brand new Notion document. So I can quickly save it if I do like it. But it looks pretty good. We have introduction. Welcome to Matt Vid Pro. Obviously, it's like a rough outline. That's usually how I do my videos. Typically, they don't have scripts. I don't know if you guys could tell. It honestly seems to have done a pretty good job here overall. It's curated everything from that massive document of just like chat GPT recommendations into top five Apple intelligence app ideas. It could make for a pretty good little theoretical video on what might be possible with Apple intelligence. But yeah, this is just another example of how I find it really valuable to have the AI directly integrated inside of Notion instead of swapping, you know, back and forth between ChatGPT and Claude and all of that and just pasting things around, which don't get me wrong, I still do a lot of pasting, but having it integrated definitely makes things a lot easier. I'm also really impressed that they managed not to cut a lot of the capabilities out of modern day chatbots like ChatGPT or Claude such as image recognition. It's something I honestly use quite frequently, and it's still right here inside of Notion AI. For example, this is the image that I uploaded. Uh, yeah, it's an AI-generated image of me that's quite frightening. But yeah, accurate description obviously coming from that OpenAI or the Claude API, I'm not sure which one. But this is a capability that they honestly could have left out but didn't and it's that attention to detail that makes me hopeful that they will continue to support Notion AI in a meaningful way in the future. They understand that AI is an integral part of the way people are going to be doing business in pretty much any field I think. It is seriously applicable. Anyways, Notion AI doesn't just work in its own little tab in the corner. It also can work in any document you use. So let's say, for example, I've got this working list. It's all just a bunch of links to various AI news that I've decided I want to cover in a video. I can actually highlight all of it inside of Notion, and then I can ask the AI a question. For example, I can literally say things like, Give all of these links a nice title so they don't look so confusing when I record. And it's going to go ahead and make those changes, not only adding the new stuff in, but also deleting the old stuff. And when I accept it, I have a nice clean list of hyperlinks here. And it's even given them all their own distinctive categories like AI research, AI image generation, AI ethics. Love to see it. You can pretty much just call on Notion AI whenever you want, and having it right there just makes it super convenient to get all of my work done right in one place. Like I said, it's kind of like your AI-powered brain or second brain, because the reason I put stuff in Notion in the first place is because I can't store it all in my brain. It's too small, unfortunately. There's also commands, though, if I backslash, for example, there are basic Notion commands, but there are also Notion AI commands like quick fix for spelling and grammar, ask a basic question, or continue writing. Let's talk about why you might want to use Notion AI over something like ChatGPT or Claude. Now, yes, it is absolutely true that under the hood, what's powering Notion AI is models like ChatGPT 4.0 or Claude Sonnet 3.5. And a lot of the things that we do here in Notion AI can also be done in ChatGPT or Claude. However, Notion actually has the advantage when it comes to pricing. If you don't need the features in ChatGPT Plus like advanced voice mode or reasoning, then Notion AI is only 10 bucks a month, which is about half the cost of ChatGPT. 
And let's be honest, ChatGPT isn't built to be an organizational tool. While I might sometimes use ChatGPT to do work for my channel, all of my video idea lists, my scripts, general ideas, Discord server suggestions, etc. all live on Notion. That's where my data is. So if I can have my AI right in the place where all my data already is, why would I choose not to? I also imagine that a lot of people are going to be bringing up the fact that ChatGPT has its own canvas mode, which is a little bit similar to Notion AI. And don't get me wrong, guys, I really like OpenAI's canvas mode with ChatGPT. However, I would also argue that ChatGPT canvas is also very, very similar to what Notion AI already had, even before canvas was introduced, such as the ability to just highlight stuff, ask the AI to do basic tasks. ChatGPT is great, but I just don't see why I wouldn't opt to use Notion AI, at least for my disorganized brain that is greatly benefited by something like an organizational tool with built-in AI. Now, to wrap this up and put a bow on it, I do want to talk about a few things I'd like to see improved inside of Notion AI. First things first, I would love to see Notion AI be able to connect to your calendar. Notion also has a calendar to go along with the note-taking and everything else, and it can directly connect to your Google Calendar, let's say. I would love it if I could just ping my Notion AI bot every day to ask it, you know, what's going on on my calendar, what meetings do I have scheduled for that day, and it would be so cool to use the email draft capability, let's say, to check my calendar and then make an email reply that I can directly send off to say, hey, can we change the time of this meeting because I have something else coming up, just as an example. I think that calendar integration with Notion AI would be super cool. I would like to see some more consumer level Gmail and Slack integration inside of Notion rather than being Google Workspace focused. Yes, I do have a lot of important data already in my Notion, but I also have a lot of older important data that's in my Google. And plus there are a lot of features inside of things like Google Docs, Slides, and Sheets that you just don't have inside of Notion. A lot of people use both tools, and being able to use them in conjunction without having to have Google Workspace would definitely be a huge bonus. Another thing I'd like to see improved are the quick commands. While there are a lot of useful ones, like I'm about to show you now with the flowchart creation, I think that they could do even more with this feature. For example, the flowchart right here is really cool. This is quite unique, actually, and most large language model-based AI tools can't do stuff like this. But I know for a fact that there is a custom GPT on the GPT store for OpenAI that can do flowcharts. And there are also a lot of other custom GPTs that can do more than just flowcharts. So I would like to see Notion AI integrate a few more customized actions. Perhaps one for doing custom math like we see with the Wolfram Alpha custom GPT or one that could connect to the internet and do research, such as the Consensus Custom GPT. I think stuff like that would add even more power potential, especially for a integrated AI bot into something like Notion where people do accumulate a lot of research. And finally, I also would like to see the ability to just pull information from the internet altogether. I know this is something that most actually large language model platforms struggle with, but if let's say Notion partnered up with Perplexity AI, for example, they could pull very accurate information quickly. And I think that would be really cool. As you can see on the screen right now, currently it just says that it's going to try and find an answer in its own AI database, aka the large language model itself, or to find an answer in pages or connected apps that you have access to. So adding broader web search would be pretty darn cool. Overall though, I would say my experience with Notion AI has been quite favorable. I think they have put the time in to make the large language model integrate well within the Notion workspace. It's quick, it's accurate, and it is very, very much useful, especially since I already have all of this data and I do a lot of work in Notion. I think that they've targeted the pricing quite well at only 10 bucks per month to get access to the AI features. It undercuts the price of ChatGPT Plus by half. 
Now granted, if you're super into some of the extra features you might find on ChatGPT, obviously Notion isn't worth it, but for people who are more focused on productivity and do a lot of writing, I don't see how you could not go with Notion AI, unless of course you use a different organizational tool. <laughs> but I've tried out a lot of organizational tools, folks, and I have to say that Notion has stuck with me. The accessibility of Notion is pretty unprecedented. They have an iPhone and an Android app, they've got Windows and Mac apps themselves, as well as the ability to access your Notion directly on the web, with a good seamless interface that makes keeping it organized pretty darn easy. Not to mention, like I said, it has its own calendar as well, which is pretty much my go-to calendar, specifically because I can connect it to my Google one. So all of my meetings show up, anything else I add, like if I have a flight or something, automatically shows up in my Notion calendar. It's really what it comes down to. Anyways, I'd love to hear what your thoughts are in the comments below. Is Notion AI something you've used before? Do you already use Notion and have never tried the AI tools? Or do you use another organizational tool? And if so, does it have any sort of AI integrations? I don't think I've seen one that has AI integrated as well as Notion, but I'm always optimistic to see the competition. Anyways, huge thank you to Notion for sponsoring today's video. This channel does not exist without its sponsors. It's the reason that I can pursue this full time. So I greatly thank you guys for not only supporting all of my videos, but also supporting the sponsored ones. And by the way, guys, if you haven't tried Notion or its AI features out yet, you can try them for free. There is that $10 a month plan, but that's for unlimited AI access. You can try all of the features I showed off today for free. It's just you eventually will run out of your AI credits for the day. And before Notion AI, I was using Notion nearly every day for completely free. So regardless, my recommendation to you guys is to at least try it. Try to download it on your phone or something like that and see if it makes your life more organized. Because as I said in the beginning of this video, I have severe organizational issues and things like Notion, especially with AI included, have helped me greatly. Thank you so much and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.